That's all I can say here. Oh, this game is great. In case you haven't noticed it yet, by the way, this game uh, kind of sucks. That's what's so interesting about it. Oh, well, let's go. Look at our health bar at the upper left corner. It's really big this time. We should now get significantly further than we did in our previous attempts. I'll also try to kind of speed a little bit through this this time because we've already seen those stages. Yeah, we fucked up the skeleton with our shooting weapon. There's the bats. There's the knights. Let's quickly get rid of them. Yep, I said yep. Fairy, thank you. Boss! Yeah, we handled. We unfortunately handled the the purple skeleton a bit wrong, so it did too much damage. And then the the Medusa, I, I unfortunately just fucked up. All right, forest time. Let's try to preserve some health this time. It'll take ages to fight the skeleton, uh, the zombie this time this way, but um, nothing we can do about it. All right, this went fairly well. Killing the flames, killing the skeletons. I doubt. I don't think you get experience when killing little enemies such as frogs and stuff. Also, I kind of missed the fairy. Uh, like I jumped toward it, but I kind of failed. I j didn't hit it. Oh well. We defeated the boss. And hello, chicken leg guy. This is the third time that we encounter you in total. And I'm going to to just say it, this is actually the only stage and the only time that you ever encounter the chicken leg enemy. Yeah. It's like the pr producers thought, oh, you know, we kind of have to put a really weird enemy um, in this game and at just one single location, you know. We put, put a really weird enemy just at this place so that the player thinks, what the fuck, and then he'll never ever encounter that enemy again. So basically they just added it for one what the fuck moment. Alright, the weapon totally fucks up the zombie. And we are at the boss. Oh fuck. Yeah, you can only have one dagger at the screen at, at a time. Only a maximum of one dagger on screen. Fuck. Come on. All right, we won and we got the maze. Let's choose another stage. In fact, let's choose this one. What the hell is that thing? I unfortunately don't really know how to describe this guy. Um, primarily because I lack the language skills of English. Um, and there's some kind of fish man attacking us. Like his face looks like kind of some sort of a fish and but he had legs, you know. Humanoid fish dude. Fish man. Also those there's some sort of jellyfish flying around all the time. They kinda remind me of Metroids a little bit. Don't know why. There's this guy again. I'll demonstrate some yeah, he can shoot uh, um the same in exactly the same pattern as the previous bosses did in an undodgeable way. He dropped armor, that's nice. We now have full health. And we're equipped with the mace. And as we have seen already, our hero is very skilled with that weapon, as he will occasionally take damage upon using it. There's this very strong variant of the zombie again, but the mace will push him back, pierce through him, do a lot of damage. Oh, I wanted to demo something. Listen to the music. That was the full loop of the music already. It's 10 seconds. Some of you might think, no, it's actually only 5 seconds, but that's not true because the second time it sounds a slightly bit different. So the full loop is like 9 or 10 seconds. And isn't that lazy? We have just fought this boss before, except that now he's green and a little bit stronger. But we have an, one advantage, we now have the mace, and the mace pushes him back. So for defeating this guy we get some new kind of armor. Um, I've told you before, if we go to the middle stage, 
Uh, let me demo it. This stage here. And we would just die instantly at the final boss. But with this armor you can survive. However, you still need the other items of the other stages before you are finally able to defeat the final boss. Let's do this stage. Yep. The blue knight that we've already seen a few times. He's now dead. Mosquitoes. Obviously the theme of this stage is fire, as the flames at the bottom demonstrate. Red skeleton. Obviously, since it's painted red, it's stronger than the normal skeleton. That's just how logic works. If you're painted red, then you're stronger than if you were not painted red. Wow, we got the lightning power up and we totally fucked up the purple skeleton. That's great. And this boss. We, we killed him in three hits. It was basically the level 2 boss, but colored in green. So this, those flames, they at least don't kill you immediately, but they do uh, quite a lot of damage. Fairy! Yes, thank you. And boss. We've seen this enemy in the previous stages, but he was blue. Now he's red, and that means that he's a lot stronger. He has a lot of health, and most importantly, he deals a shit ton of damage. This actually went really well. I us usually lose uh, much more health. So this is some kind of shield, I think. Actually forgot what it does, to be perfectly honest. But I might explain that another time, because I doubt that we will be able to beat this game in this part. Okay, now let us try to beat this stage. Hello, level 1 boss. And... And goodbye, level 1 boss. Flames that we can just walk under. Let's switch weapons here. Now we have the normal sword. And if we press start again, we'll have the daggers. That's how that works. Oh, I, I actually didn't know that you could switch weapons, but I... I've read the comments of the world record speedrun and I think he... No, I no, that's bullshit. He didn't explain that you can switch weapons. I think I just looked it up on some FAQ on game facts. Or game FAQs, however you, you say that. Oh, I'm stupid. I, I should switch back to the maze. It's way stronger. I was wondering, holy shit, this guy takes ages to kill. That's because I didn't use the mace. The mace is much, much more powerful than all the other weapons. Oh, oh yeah, right, we got the shooting power up. I didn't even notice it. Yeah. Oh, I think we lost it, yeah. Let's do a better job of killing this dude this time. Yeah, if he's all the way to the right, then the mace won't properly hit him. I think that's what went wrong the, the last time. Come on. Yes! Look, we're at full health now. We're doing much better than before. Hello, blue knight guy. You're dead. You're not a very good knight. Medusa, let's kill her this time. If you... yeah. Previously I fucked around too much, but if you immediately swing, swing your mace at her, then you'll push her, push her back, and then she'll ha never have a chance to attack you. Wow, she dropped the third weapon. Yeah, it's a special sword. I think that's what you need to actually damage the final boss. And now... Black screen, special music, this is the first real boss. A blue dragon. And yes, this is all he does. Two jumps, two simple jumps forward, and then he'll jump back. That's his pattern. I was being quiet so you could hear the awful music. Uh, hello? Yeah, sometimes he'll just stop for a few seconds. Yeah, this is some awful, awful boss music. But since the music changed to this um, awful theme, you know that this is basically the first real boss. You can see it because of the black background and because of the new music. The boss music. Alright. So... Fuck. We beat him! Now the funny thing is, you can actually, after you've beaten a stage, you can go back. And I believe...
I really hate this stage. This is definitely the hardest of the four stages because of the tight jumps and shit. Alright. Alright. More mosquitoes. More knights. Come on, yes. Got a new set of armor. So let's do this. Is it just me or do we take less damage from the enemies with this orange armor? Because the orange armor is to reduce the damage of the final boss. Yeah, like if but um is it just me or does it also do protect us from normal enemies? That would actually be really awesome. This part. This is one of the most stressful parts of this stage. I really freaking hate this part. Oh my god, we almost fell. Wow, that was a good hit. Alright. Now this tight jump. Wow, we cleared that like a... Like a... Like an, a like an ace, basically. Okay. The last... Yeah, that was the final difficult jump of the game. Fairy, I... No! I'm such a fucking dumbass! How, how is that even possible? How is it possible to miss the fairy like that? I'm such a huge fucker. Like, it should have really been easy to somehow touch the fairy with such a big body. And yet I jumped over it and around it. Oh my god. This is certain death. Like, if I had gotten that fairy, then I might have had a chance to beat this stage. But now I'm just dead, let's be honest. I have no chance. We lost our armor. Yeah, look, we are, I think we're taking damage much more quickly now. I think the orange armor really does protect you. And we get the final item, the crystal ball. I actually know what this does. If you kill the final boss, then apparently he will revive again, over and over, if you do not have the crystal. The crystal prevents the final boss from reviving, which means that if you kill him once, then he's defeated for, uh, for once and for all. And now, another boss. A really shitty boss, because you, there's no way to dodge his bullets. This looks weird as fuck when he's moving. Don't worry guys, we will not survive this battle. I think we are going to die. Isn't it great when a boss has undodgeable attacks? I love it. We won! Holy fucking shit, we won! That's unexpected! We can do the final stage, holy shit! Alright, and our health is fully replenished as we are in this hall, and that's kind of nice effect for the NES. Look, there's some sort of mirror effect in the background. We can see our guy in the background. And even in this window, we can see our guy. That's kind of cool. Okay. And, of course, our mirror image has jumped out of the mirror. Now, I'll be honest, I do not understand this part. Look. Now we take damage. And now we take more damage as we touch each other. I absolutely do not understand this part. When I first encountered this, I was scared shitless. I was thinking, I'm getting a lot of damage. How, how am I supposed to do this? So I actually looked up um, the world record speedrun, how he handled this. And basically all he did is, he walked to the right, and eventually your mirror image gets destroyed. And he apparently even dropped the armor. Honestly, I don't fucking get it. Like, wh why is this part necessary? Wh what's it? Wh what does it mean? Why the fuck do you run against your mirror image and destroy it? I don't get it. Three fairies and... Wow, I barely was able to jump. Yeah, sometimes if you press the A button, you won't jump. The controls of this game are very bad. The speedrunner um, says so in his comment as well. Okay. We're ready now. 
And I will have to spoil something because, um, and that's kind of unfair and you can't know it, but the last guy um, can only be damaged with the sword. Remember? We previously, one of the four items of the four stages was a sword. So you need to select this sword weapon so you can even damage him. Otherwise you won't make it. Like here the daggers or the mace, they won't do anything. You need the sword. That's kind of unfair. And honestly, I looked this up on the internet um, when I've beaten the, uh, the game for the first time. Like, even before I, I ever went to the final boss, I've looked up on the internet and then the game said, Oh, you need the sword. And I was like, oh wow, that's nice. I'm glad that I actually have read that on the internet before. Because if I would have gone to the final boss first, then I would have been pissed off so badly. So let's go to the right. And... Oh my god, there he is! This is a very weird final boss. And I honestly don't know how to properly fight him. He attacks with his tail which does a jump, you idiot, which does a lot of damage. He's really hard to hit sometimes, and you cannot dodge his fireballs whatsoever. This is one of the worst final bosses of all time. And the bad thing is, if you lose the armor, then you lose the battle. So you... Yep, we're dead. Because we lost the armor. This is such a hell of a shitty final boss. Yeah. This is fucking garbage. So I'll see you at the next part, guys. And there we will try to actually beat this game. So see you then!